and check out my motorbike app. Hope you like it. I'm a mix of a fighter pilot and a cyclist. Never mind physics, because I find it a little inapplicable. Right when I fly, limits never reply. And the seven that I'm not gonna be the first daredevil to die. My hell is a temperate climate, so I'm revving on the engine just to get the freaking temperature rising. Hello again, YouTubes. This is Speedy Bomb, and welcome back to another episode of Trials Evolution. No. <laughs> uh, yes, I know I played this yesterday, but it's Friday, and Friday is a day for fun, and I want to have fun. And also, I said I had completed the uh, the single player, but I had not. There is Death Valley, and I need 195 medals when I only have 162. Okay, so, anyways, let's play some things, get some metal, shall we? Let's get some cutting edge stuff, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? I think we shall. Let's, um, I mean, since I'm so good at trials now, <laughs> that's kind of a joke and kind of not, the arrogance was a joke, but I think I, I think I'm kind of decent. I mean, I got second place on the, the, uh, above the clouds map, which I couldn't even do when I started. I don't know. Anyway, so let's get playing, yeah! See, look, I'm already ahead of myself. See? Told you I was good. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, it's good. Um, okay, let's try this again. I, I didn't feel that run. I didn't feel it. Um, yeah, speaking of trials, since we're freaking playing it, not speaking of it. Um, on Android, I'm not sure if it's for, for, uh, whoa, for Apple, uh, for, for the devil. But, <laughs> um, on Android, there is this really freaking awesome app by Red Links and Ubisoft called, um, uh, what is it? Trials Frontier. Trials Frontier! And it's like a trials game with an interesting art style and a story to it. That's freaking awesome. So, yeah, if you have, um, an, a, 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 a droid, that's what it is, um, you should search for it, because it's awesome, or I mean, you should get it. And if you don't have a droid, then you should search to see if it's on the i Phone or iPod, either one. But yeah, it's great, and it doesn't even lag. It looks as nice as this game. Probably nicer, actually. Or maybe that's just because it's on a small screen and the art style is nice. But yeah, it doesn't lag, and it's the best thing in the world. And it's got a freaking story! A trials game with a story that's unheard of. I'm also doing unheardably bad. I think I gotta try stop trying to uh, be all fancy and stuff. And be all cocky! Okay, so let's do this the normal way, shall we? And by normal, I mean the good way. Yeah, there we go. Up we go. So how was you guys this week? Mine went by really fast, which is good because my school year is almost freaking over. Yeah. Holy cow, that was freaking beasts. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, but yeah, my school year is almost over, and I'm really, really freaking happy about that. Like you have no freaking clue. Freaking, freaking, freaking. Yeah, school is pretty much worse than hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, if if hell existed, and it does, it's on Earth, and it's known by the name of school. Or at least high school, not like college or university. I'm sure that's a little bit better, at least because you're doing something that's going to train you to do your job. When high school and later elementary school and junior high does nothing for you. Absolutely nothing. I mean, if you like the classes, it does something. But if you don't, it does nothing for you. It's really pointless. Everything about it is stupid. But I'm not gonna rant about school too much because I already made a video about that called "Under the 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 Thoughts on School." I think "Under the Beanie." Yeah. Um, I will make another "Under the Beanie" soon. I just have to be in the mood for it because I don't want to come off angry when I talk about things. I want to come off as like relatively neutral-ish as possible. And, I, and to do that, I have to be in the mood about it, or else I'll just get all grumpy and stuff, and nobody wants to see a grumpy beanie. That's just, that's just all, like, wrinkly and baggy on your head. It doesn't look good. Okay, so let's go. I'm racing myself. I kind of wish I had friends on Steam who played Trials. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge to you watching. If you have Steam and play Trials, you should totally add me because I am lonely. Um, <laughs> but yeah, because if you're a friend, played the same level you did, you see their ghost as, um, you see my ghost, but it's their name, 
And so, like, you could totally race them or pretend to, even though they're not there. It's really freaking cool. I love it. Um, but I don't have any friends that play Trials, so I've never experienced that. Even when I was on the Xbox, no one I knew played Trials, and it's like the best freaking game ever. It's my favorite non-story driven game in the world. I keep forgetting to go fast. I gotta, uh, maybe it's because I'm purple, which is like a mixture of Knuckles and Sonic. Um, and you know, you gotta go fast like Sonic and not slow like Knuckles. I have restarted this map way too much. I think I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but my, my method, my, my, uh, my madness behind this is that I'm redoing a map that I already completed and I got bronze on, so why not try as hard as I can to get the gold for it? You know what I'm saying? But I think even if I, like, I think you can't get any faults on this one to get gold, which is kind of stupid. Okay, nice bunny hop. Maybe I should land on the crater and take my time a little bit more, but uh, I, I landed on there before without hitting the crater, so maybe I'm just not going fast enough. Either one. Okay, up, fire it up. Nice. Okay, we're good. We are nice. Okay, bunny hop. Nice. Okay, good. See, it just requires some persistence and bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is very important in this game, and also from what I've seen in Trials Fusion, which I am definitely going to be getting soon. I was on the, like, on the, uh, what's it called? On the net? On the fence? On the hold fabric type thing? Material? I don't know. I was on the something verge of thinking about buying it, but I was like, eh, because the tricks. And I thought the tricks would take away from the core experience, but they probably don't. Like, I don't think you have to do tricks unless it's a trick level, and uh, trick levels are always cool. So I don't know. This seems awesome. And also the futuristic sort of stylization of it sort of put me off at first, but heck, I'm open-minded. I'll, I'll, I'll warm up to anything over time. Eventually. Not if it's, uh, something horrible, of course. But propinquity is a strong thing. Okay. Go! No! I am slower! Gotta go fast like Sonic and not slow like Knuckles. I've got the being of Sonic and Knuckles inside of me, so I can choose to go slow like Knuckles or fast like Sonic. Okay, that's good. We are going fast like Sonic. Fast like Sonic, slow like Knuckles! Oh, ow! <gasps> oh no, the pain! Dude, oh man, I feel bad for that guy's future children, which he will never have. Okay. Okay, just calm down! Calm down, sir, you don't need to go that fast. Okay, you need to go a little bit faster than that. Oh my goodness gracious, you're freaking stupid. I think whenever I do that voice, I start failing. I don't know. It's the voice is clumsy, so I get clumsy. Oh no! Okay, just calm down and think about what you're doing here, which is failing. You gotta think about not doing that. Okay, forward we go, and boom! Up. That's good, that's fine. That is not good! Why the heck would I lean forward? That was an idiotic move. A novice mistake, which will not happen again. Okay, there, perfect, nice, and land on the back tire as always, always land on the back tire, it's the number one rule of trials. Whoa, see, landed on the back tire, if I didn't, I would have slipped. Bunny hop, yeah, okay, good, and sometimes you don't want to land on the back tire, gosh dang it. <laughs> I didn't land on my back tire on that part all the times before, and I beat it, or passed it, and now the only time I tell myself to land on the back tire I freaking miss it. This this string of words is going nowhere. Okay, let's let's just focus on the game. We can do it. I know we can. Uh, we definitely don't have enough speed to clear that. I mean, unless it was the stupid freaking like ninja zero faults guy who got the zero faults on the ninja thing that last episode. I think like he would have kept going, but anyone else would have like been vertical wall. No, thank you. Or maybe that's just me. I don't think motorcycles were designed to climb vertical walls right off the bat of your freaking level, but I guess that gives you a sort of feel of uh, the impossible nature of it. It kind of reminds me, the ninja levels, they kind of remind me of, um, like, Guitar Hero custom charts. Like, um, what's his name? He's my favorite charter, and I can't remember him. Uh, his name, it starts with the G. It's like... Gazzo, it's like a mixture of Gazzo and Ginzo and Gonzola. It's got some sort of an N and Z combination. Anyways, oh, that's right, Smutch. <laughs> Smuts. Or s something like that. I can't remember his. 
I, his actual name, but it's like Smuts something. I don't know why I was thinking Garbanzo Bean, but yeah, anyways, continuing why I started talking about him in the first place, he makes like these super awesome sounding crazy difficult um, Guitar Hero custom songs, and like there's people who freaking FC, which is full combo, which means you don't miss a note, them, and it's like, how the heck do you do that? I do not understand. So maybe the level of skill is just past my level of comprehension, which is true for for quite a few things. Okay, good, nice. That was very smooth. This is not very smooth. What the heck are you doing, man? It's not backflipping time. It is winning time. This is not okay with me. Speaking of backflips, I am the most sore person in the world right now, probably. Well, probably not. I mean, there's war victims, or I mean prisoners of war who are probably more sore than I am. But I am very sore nonetheless because I did gymnastics yesterday and I did so many backflips. So many, so many standing back tucks, which is when you do them on the floor. Um, because I'm trying to get them down pat, like, just so I could do them every single time. And I can do them on concrete if I wanted to and not worry about breaking my spine. Um, I, it's, it's the most strenuous thing I think I know how to do. Because you have to rotate, like, 132 pounds, which is the weight I am, in a way that the human body was not designed to move. It's so, like, you, and the only thing flipping you, like with a front tuck, or a front flip, you have the whole momentum of your arms, and you, you, like, throw forward, and everything goes forward, and you have the momentum of running. But with the standing back tuck, it's literally just, you jump and stretch up as you jump, so my shoulders are freaking dead because of that. And you pull your knees into your chest, and just the inertia from your knees pulling into your chest is what flips you. It's kind of scientific if you think about it, actually very scientific. Um, but it's also really painful. So, yeah, I'm very sore. But I, I, I did, anyways, go for a mile penny board ride, which was uphill for the first half, um, for exercise sake because I do want to stay in shape because I kind of eat a lot of junk food-ish. So, <laughs> I don't want to get all tubbly dobes. Oh, God. Yeah, no! Oh, so close. I did forgot about the fact that I'm using a controller right now and can control my throttle. I was just going on the trigger as if I was using a button. So, I can, I can, I can ease it. I can ease it, but just not right now. Okay, go! No, it's not gonna work! No! Holy cow! I, how much time have I spent on this one level already? I'm trying way too hard to get faultless. I think I should just go with the flow. And then, I just don't like the feeling of, like, knowing that you're gonna mess up or knowing that you're going really slow. I don't like resetting to the last checkpoint because it's like, man. That number of faults just went up. I only like seeing zeros. Like, I'm kind of a perfectionist at this game, even though I'm not skilled enough to be one. So that causes for a lot of frustration. Gosh dang it. Okay, go back. We can do this. We are purple. We have the spirit of Sonic inside of us, and we're letting the spirit of Knuckles freaking conquer our being. Gosh dang it, Knuckles, stop going slow. It's okay. Just listen to Sonic. Chili dogs, you are too slow. Gotta go fast! Okay. Alright, I feel pumped and inspired now. Thank you, Sonic. Forever in our hearts, you will remain. <laughs> okay, I uh, got- Yo! <gasps> okay, just calm down! Calm down, B. Everything's gonna be okay. Stop dead frustrated. Nothing bad has particularly even happened. You're just getting mad at the fact that you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect! <laughs> It's okay. I'm okay. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, nice. We are doing good. See, landing on the back tire is always a necessity. Perfect. Except for this part. Don't do it on this part. Just, just you know, do it when you feel comfortable. No, get, get up, get up, please. Pretty please? With a cherry on top? Oh, you don't like cherries? You're allergic. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try this again. I will not promise him cherries next time. I might, you know, sugar? Is he allergic to sugar? I don't know. This guy's allergic to cherries. What the heck else is he allergic to? Everything else? Because everything is made of cherries? I'm... I don't know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Let's go forward. 
A little motorcycle that looks like a Harley Davidson modified to be a dirt bike. And just go for it, man. You know you can do it. Oh, 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 yeah, no! Ah! The thing I don't like about the Phoenix Evo is like, well, the thing I also like about it is that it's so gosh diggity bouncy. Like, you need to land on your back tire all the time or else you're gonna boing around like a, like a clown on speed. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> no! I hate it when you lean forward, because, like, when you lean back and you're about to fall, it's easy because you can just break, unless you're rolling backwards. If you're rolling forward, you can just break and you're fine. But if you're leaning forward, it's like nothing you can do about it. It's like watching... Uh, I'm not good with my analogies today, am I? <laughs> That's okay. I'm focusing on trialsing, and I am not focusing on language arts. Thank you very much. Oh, forward! Oh, what the heck? Okay, so sometimes you lean back a little bit too much in the air and you can't fix it. That's fine. We just need to worry about nothing. That's what we need to worry about. We need to worry about nothing and just let things take care of themselves. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. We are laid back Bob Marley Bomb. Ah, uh, no longer Beanie Bomb like Snoop Dogg turned into Snoop Lion. I will be Bob Marley Bomb. Is that copyrighted? I'm pretty sure it is. So I will be Bob Bomb. That's also copyrighted. Gosh dang it! <laughs> okay, forward please! I am so tired of resetting. I do not want to do it anymore, but I also don't want to fail and dishonor my family. I need to do this perfectly. No! I have dishonored my family! <laughs> okay, we can do it! We can freaking do it! I don't know if that was a little bit racist. It might have been. If it was, I'm sorry. But forward, okay, that was a freaking high jump. Way to go, man. That's what I want to see every time from you. Yeah, no! Up the wall. Up, kick the baby. Don't kick the baby, smash. Okay, go forward, please. Just do a good job. You can do it. You can do I believe in you. I'm like wheeling 90% of the way. I don't know why I'm doing this. I know I say land on your back tire, but you got to get off of it at one point. Okay, we're good. We are good. I wonder how different trials would be if they put the bike into front-wheel drive. <laughs> that would be horrible. That would just be the worst thing I think ever. Whoa, I flung myself there. Bunny hopped, but not right. Okay. Oh, gosh. The whole game would be completely different. I think it would be, like, really bad. <laughs> and quite hard and frustrating. So, good job, Red Lynx, in your, your back tire controlled and motorbike design in general how you're like that nice finally past that part okay so from here on I am just going to uh, do this and if I mess up I'll do the red I'll, I'll whoa I mean red what I'm gonna reset to the last checkpoint and when I said red I meant the B button but I don't know oh because the B button's red on this controller and on Xbox controllers which is what this is sort of designed off of okay go oh. Bart, yes, perfect. We'll do a little victory flip there. Nice. Nothing wrong with a little flip here and there. Unless you do it too often, then you're just trying your luck, mister. Nice. Yeah, that must have been gold. Zero faults. Heck yeah. Gold medal. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that did for me. They got me two more medals. Six, 164. I should probably focus on getting more medals than just two at a time. But, heck, while we're at... Oh, the Ascent. I don't think I want to do this one again. This is the one where the whole thing is a giant hill climb. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to the... Yeah, the um, like, uh, we will go to the, the warehouse. I'm totally copying on its pranks. I'm sorry. I just like that accent. Okay, um... Let's just complete all of these in chronological order. So we'll go to easy. Have a little fun. Building blocks. We'll do... Wait, what the heck? Did I get a silver on an easy map? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is unacceptable. Unacceptable! Okay. I did that away from the mic, so I hope your ears didn't die. Okay. Where do we go? Alrighty, beating my amateur self because I'm using the Phoenix. I think I was using like a baby bike at that time. And this this map or map, this track is sort of baby as well. 
Whoa, I think I'm jumping a bit too high. I should probably calm it down a little bit. Oh, no way. We're all about the height and the speed here at, I don't know what I'm trying to say here at, like, I'm a company. Did I, did I do it? Gold? Please? No? Okay, I, I'm going too fast. I gotta, or I mean, I'm going too slow, but I mean, I'm going too fast as in I'm taking the jumps a bit too high. And that was just stupid. Okay, so I need to calm down my chili dogs and just take my time. Go fast on the things that need fasting and slow on the things that need slowing. <coughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, we're good. We're good. If you can't tell, I'm actually quite tired. <laughs> we had a, uh, a pep rally at my school and I said it like that because they call it a renaissance rally and that is seriously a disgrace to the name to the word renaissance because it is, it is not it, like this was the only one that I have really seen any talent in um, and that was because a band played Everlong by the Foo Fighters at like 1 million plus times the tempo <laughs> go battle yay because the freaking crowd, the mob, was like, Yeah, we gotta clap along because the band is playing and none of us have any sense of tempo. And they were progressively getting faster and faster. So it threw off the band members like an insane... <laughs> it was so horrible. Like, they were going so fast. <laughs> they were like... Like, if you know the melody to Foo Fighters, it's like... They were like, I'm not even exaggerating. It was so bad. But yeah, they were super talented because they actually kept up with it. The drummer messed up like once, but that was, it's, it's freaking excusable. He was going a million miles an hour. I'm sure every time he moved his stick, he broke the sound barrier. <laughs> So yeah, freaking stupid. And then, also, uh, the band, a different band, played another song. I kind of forgot what the song was, because I didn't like the song, so I don't remember what it was. But, mob mentality was like, one guy brought, or one girl, or one sheep brought out their phone. And, like, with the light on it, like, as if it were a lighter, even though the song totally wasn't slow or lighter-worthy at all. And so, immediately after... Everyone else is like, oh, yeah, this is, God, I gotta do what everyone else is doing. And so everyone turned on their stupid phone. And, oh, it just makes me so mad. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know why mob mentality makes me so angry, but it just does. It's probably because it shows that people are sheep and can't think for their gosh darn selves. But... I said I wouldn't get mad in this episode, and I already broke my, my promise, but uh, fools on tricks on fools, you. I did not make you do for having of promising. Ugh. So yeah, today was a perfect display of mom mentality. Oh yeah! And then, <laughs> right afterwards, I, okay, so this has been going on for a couple weeks. Someone in my drama room, because for lunch I hang out in the drama room, and at first it was fine, it wasn't too hectic, it was just like normal lunch state loudness. ay Gosh dang it. But it started getting really freaking loud and stuff, and everyone was being really freaking stupid. Like, really, really freaking stupid. Like, I, like, I, I, and then people were like having sex at the back. I'm kidding, they weren't actually, but it was it you'd have to be there to know what I'm talking about in order to understand it was just really bad and then the to top it off the there's someone as I said there was someone who could play piano he, he was playing frozen from let it go the movie <laughs> and um, everyone all the sheep were like Oh, let me immediately stop doing what I'm doing. I will immediately stop listening to whoever is talking to me right now. Her, like, like uh, flies or moths to a light. Sorry, moths, not flies. They just hovered over to the piano, like all of them at once. And all started singing horribly along. And then I was like, okay, that's pretty bad, but it's sure it's like a one-time thing, right? No, every single day for the past couple weeks, they did, 
they, they've been doing this, and it's like, oh, it's... And it's mob mentality because they totally forget about any of the last popular Pixar song that happened before then. So it's like, yeah, this is the popular thing to do, so I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, I've seen that movie. <laughs> what does the fox say? Oh, by Gangnam Style, do the Harlem Shake. You forgot about those, didn't you? <laughs> oh. Angry Beanie is angry. I'm not even paying attention to the game anymore. <laughs> uh, so, like, uh, my friend Esteban and I were absolutely disgusted by the fact that people had replaced their eyes with wool. And so we, we went out of the drama room and it out, like, right outside to eat so we wouldn't throw up all of our food after every single bite. Uh, and, um, so, this really cool lady that my friend Estvan knew, um, whoa, golly, Estvan, you should be familiar with him by now if you haven't seen my Day in the Life of Beanie Bomb 1 or 2. He's, like, the main character in both of those. Uh, but, he has this really cool friend who is a Satanist, and contrary to popular belief, Satanists don't believe in God, the devil, or anything. They're pretty much, like... It, they live, they're like atheists that live by a code of honor, and that code of honor is basically just be a good person. And the reason why uh, Satanism is called Satanism is to, <laughs> is to make uh, Christians angry. <laughs> it's basically it, because like their forms of common courtesy do go against Christian rulings, and um, like, homosexuality is a bad thing. Yeah, um, I completely disagree with that because it's a gene and I'm not going to try and start a debate in common sections, so please don't do that. But anyway, so she's that, she's super nice and awesome, and so that calmed my nerves a bit. But then, <laughs> of course, my school is just so stupid that things have to continually happen. This person, who is literally so sheep that when you look into his eyes, you see nothing but a void of death and black. And I cannot even describe- Oh, God. This that looked like it freaking hurt. But, yeah, he you looked at his eyes and there was nothing there. He was like a video game model. He's animalistic is the best way to describe him. He'll always come up to my lady friends and just be a complete prick. So, he was there, and then there was, like, a bunch of guys, like, sodomizing each other in the bathroom or something. They were, they were, they were just, I'm, I'm, I'm not serious, obviously, but it was just, there was so much noise coming from that part. And then they all came out, like, yelling at the top of their lungs for whatever reason because mob mentality. And then they started bothering the super knight, or not they, but the guy that I was talking about, or the sheep that I was talking about, the cockroach that I was talking about, came up and started bothering the friend though, the new friend that I saw, that I, that I met. And, and I, I, I got, I got quite angry. I didn't do anything. I just sort of recluded into my mind because I, if I, I knew if I w were to not, like, be passive, I would have been aggressive. I wouldn't have been in between. And I plan on completing high school without getting into a fight. And I know probably for a fact that he would be one to get into a fight if you say, hey, stop doing that to him about anything. Golly, I didn't think I would be so angry this episode, but it feels good to vent, you know? Venting is like one of the most important things. Thanks for listening to all of my very minor problems that I will forget within the next week. I was just minorly upset and disappointed in the human race, or at least my generation of the human race in my area. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I completed the easy section of um, the HD warehouse. So, uh, yeah! So, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, I say that way too much. <laughs> but thank you very, very much for watching! Um, I love you! And if you have had any other horrible experiences with people at your high school, vent down in the comment section below, because this episode is most likely going to be called Venting. Um, so yeah, you should join in, and I will confirm that your problem is indeed as stupid as you think it is. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching again, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.